When Apple purchased the Workflow app and integrated it into iOS 12 as shortcuts, they did something pretty uncool, and that was that they removed the ability to encode to MP3 directly from the app. And to date, I still haven't found an effective way to do this. So in this video, I'm gonna have a little bit of a rant about this decision, and then ask if you have a better way that we can encode audio and video here in iOS. Let's go. So I think I'm actually quite tolerant of some of Apple's decisions. I'm not one to rant, to be negative and to hate, despite some of the unique naming conventions of some of their iOS devices, or the fact that I have actually uttered the words, yes please, I will pay $60 for a dongle that converts lightning to USB. However, some of their decisions, like this one, do really make me question what their strategy here is because they've taken functionality that people were able to use and they've completely removed it. I think I know why, but it doesn't mean that I like it. So why did Apple remove this functionality? Well, to understand that you have to look back at the history of audio encoding and audio file types on the iPhone and the iPad because Apple historically have always used what is called the M4A file extension, which uses an AAC encoder for compression, which is a competitor to MP3. It's a different format. So whilst Apple have always played MP3s, they haven't always played nicely if you wanted to actually encode MP3s. And you'll notice this if you're using any sort of software on your iPhone or your iPad that exports music. So GarageBand, for instance, if you export a compressed file, it's going to export as AAC and as an M4A file. There's no way to actually export an MP3 file. So the workaround until the introduction of iOS 12 and the change of workflow to shortcuts was to use the Workflow app to actually convert to MP3. Now, why did Workflow have the ability to use MP3 while everything else in the iOS universe doesn't? Well, this is an interesting one because Workflow were actually working with Apple and Apple at the time gave Workflow access into the back end of the QuickTime encoder in iOS. So that meant that Workflow could actually use the QuickTime encoder that other apps hadn't been able to use to date and actually encode into MP3. But that was then and this is now. So as soon as Apple completely took on Workflow and they weren't just partnering with them, but they owned it, they changed the name to Shortcuts, they integrated into iOS 12, and they removed that backdoor way to get into the QuickTime encoder, which means that what we could do in the past, which is grab any video file, any audio file, and extract the audio and encode it as an MP3, is now not possible directly in iOS. Which brings me to my question to you folks. Do you have a better way? This was my way, this was the best way, that direct integration into the QuickTime encoder. I haven't found an app that works with this since, and there are all the third party websites that can do the conversions and apps that claim to do it, but they do it all through uploading to some other service and then downloading an MP3, which is okay, but not ideal. So if you have a way around this, a, a fix for this problem, then let me know down in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Sorry for the rant, and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Till the end, we have two more videos linked down below if you'd like to check out some more. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner, or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.